GM, I'm Daniel, I'm a product manager at Nansen, and I'm gonna walk you through the different features where we have the Solana data from record. So general, general rule of thumb is that wherever there is you know, a multi-chain total, you'll be able to find Solana there. So you can see this in the Signals homepage. Of course, this will exist in the Signals page itself. And you, know, you can also find it in tokens, for instance. You can see it at the bottom there. Uh, you know, we also have created Solana for smart alerts. There's the simple smart alerts here. And you can see Solana over there, as well as for our advanced smart alerts. If you hover over the token transfers, you've also enabled Solana there. So you can set up Solana smart alerts, which is pretty cool. Then we do have Solana for token guard mode, for profiler, and for wallet profiler. So let's quickly type in a Solana token, and you can search for any token you want. So there's Worth, you know, there's Lockin, there is you know, Popcat. Let's go with Popcat. Um, Cool. So over here, you know, you, in Solana, you can expect uh, to see, you know, pretty much everything you would within uh, for any of our EVM chains. So we've got transactions, balances, exchanges, smart money, PNL leaderboard. Let's jump to the PNL leaderboard because it's always exciting to see. Let's let's go to the first wallet to keep it simple. We're going to click on Popcat. This Popcat whale. This will take us to Nansen Profiler. Now you can see all the tokens that exist in this uh, wallet, or the, that this wallet holds. And if you want to, we can even dive further into wallet profile of a token. And this will give us an overview of uh, the initial purchases and, and sales that this wallet has done uh, directly with the Popcat token. Um, so yeah, that is a quick overview of how of all the features where you can find Solana enabled but please do explore and happy, happy, happy exploring.